Ohio State can't do this again. Ohio State has had one of the longest streaks of putting elite level quarterbacks at the helm of their offense. Starting with Terrell Pryor back in 2008, the Buckeyes went from Terrell Pryor to Braxton Miller to JT Barrett to Cardell Jones, then to Dwayne Haskins, to Justin Fields, and then to CJ Stroud, possibly the best of all of them. However, the successor of CJ Stroud was Kyle McCord, and he didn't really pan out the way we all thought. Now the Buckeyes are bringing in dynamic five-star wide receiver in the class of 2024, Aaron Nolan, who is currently ranked as the fourth best quarterback in the country. And as you guys can see from the highlights, this kid knows how to spin it, and he should be another great addition in that quarterback lineage for the Buckeyes. But we should all know the saying by now, live for today and plan for tomorrow. And Ohio State needs to start planning for tomorrow because one of the biggest reasons why they didn't make the college football playoffs this season was because of the quarterback play. Ohio State had one of the best defenses, not just in college football, but in Ohio State history. Like this defense was on another level and they weren't able to get anything done because when they really needed Kyle McCord to shine, he really just fell into the shadows. But it looks like the Buckeyes might have just found their quarterback for the very near future. Steve Wiltfung, who is the director of football recruiting for 24-7 Sports, put an official prediction out that the Ohio State Buckeyes would land the second best quarterback and the second best recruit in the class of 2026 in Nashville Christian High School's own Jared Curtis. Jared Curtis is coming off of a sophomore campaign where he threw for 2,522 yards, completing 56% of his passes, throwing for 25 touchdowns to only nine interceptions. He also had 543 rushing yards and another 13 touchdowns. Now, the reason why I said that Ohio State can't mess this up again at the beginning of the video, it's because we've seen uber talented quarterbacks be linked heavily with Ohio State early on in their recruiting process, all for them to never even touch the field for the Buckeyes. I mean, we all saw what happened with Quinn Ewers, number one quarterback in the class, top dog, committed to Ohio State. He was there for pretty much an NIL deal and then immediately hit the transfer portal and he's now at Texas. And we just saw the Buckeyes miss out on landing the number one quarterback in the country in Dylan Rayola, who is now going to Nebraska. In my opinion, the immediate future is being handled by Air Nolan. The future after that needs to be set up and the Buckeyes need to land five-star quarterback Jared Curtis in the class of 2026 if they want to continue that dominance because we all should know Ohio State can only go as far as their quarterback play. But as we should all know, when Steve Wilfong puts an official prediction out, more than likely that player is going to end up going to whatever school he said. So five-star quarterback Jared Curtis looks like he's a lock to become a Buckeye. All my Buckeye fans, let's take a look and see. I know that 2026 seems like it's forever away. It's right around the corner. Here's, he's going to be the quarterback of the future. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what Jerry Curtis is going to be looking like as a future Buckeye. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so this is what Jared Curtis is looking like on the field. So he's just wrapping up his sophomore campaign, but the kid's already six foot three, 210 pounds. This is a big quarterback. And rushing for 500 yards, like this kid shows that he's mobile as well. Look at the arm talent. This is, that's just nasty. Little spin and then just, ah. Perfectly only where his receiver can get it. Hey, my guy, he is talented out here. Okay, showing show off the wheels a little bit. Hey, if he if he's running like this as a sophomore, when he gets into his junior and senior year, when he gets, he should stay the same size. I wouldn't really want him to be putting on any more weight. 210 pounds is more than enough. Maybe get up to 215. But if he's able to be more mobile and just quicker on his feet, that's where he's going to become really, really scary. Look at the throws. Like this kid, he has a cannon for an arm. I'm excited to see how he develops and to see if he ends up becoming a Buckeye because uh, the Buckeyes need a quarterback like this, a guy that can just zip the ball all over the field, but then he can also run it when he needs to. I'm telling you, these quarterbacks, they've gotten so much more elite. This is a sophomore right now, just commanding an offense with ease, standing in the pocket, and then just got a cannon. Like this kid, he just flicks the wrist, and that ball is zooming out of his hand. All right, I love these plays because I love to see it. I love how quickly he gets his eyes back upfield. Anytime there's a bad snap, I always wanted to see 
how quick can you get your eyes back up field and what can you do with the ball like that that's a perfect play right there you know get your eyes back up field see nothing go make a play with your legs ankles yo and then he's a big body you're not gonna bring him down with just no arm tackles let's go So that is just a quick look at what the potential future Buckeye Jared Curtis is looking like on the field. There's a reason why he's ranked as the second best recruit in the class of 2026. It's him and Julian Lewis at the top of this class. The 2026 class is looking to be full of a bunch of talent. So guys, comment your thoughts down below. Do you think that Jared Curtis is going to officially become a Buckeye whenever he ends up deciding to sign? I mean, he's got a ton of time before, before he has to make any official decision. but. Do you guys do you guys think that this is a big as big of a need as I think so? To me, college teams need to be at least two quarterbacks ahead in their recruiting cycle. They've already got Air Nolan. They need another one. Jared Curtis could be that guy. I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below. Leave this video a like, comment your thoughts down below, and hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications so you do not miss when we drop any Buckeye news and Buckeye related content. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. Know that if you're going through anything, you can always call upon Jesus Christ. I know that it, I know that life can just get difficult, to be honest. But you know, you're not hearing this by accident. God had you watch this video all the way to the end, just so that He could tell you through me that He loves you and that He just always wants to remind you that he never left your side and he's always right there willing and wanting to help you love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao